I want to make my position clear this afternoon. I'm not going to kill anybody. I'm not going to kill anybody here in America. And I'm not going to kill anybody in Vietnam. I don't plan to kill anybody. And so I believe consistently in nonviolence. And this is why today, as I look at my brothers and sisters engaging in violence in our cities, I must continue to say, however much they refuse to listen to me, that this isn't the way. From a moral point of view, it isn't the way. But from a practical point of view, it isn't the way. And therefore, as I look out in the cities and I look on television and see hundreds and hundreds of our black brothers and sisters standing in a bread line, I say to myself that a riot does more harm to the Negro than it does to anybody else. What sense does it make to be talking about get Whitey and down in Huff in Cleveland burning it down? Whitey ain't in Huff. <laughs> Negroes end up burning the whole, their own communities down, and then when you look at the casualty list, who is it that gets killed? The vast majority of Negroes. And so I'm not going to give you a motto or Preach a philosophy, burn, baby, burn. I'm going to say, build, baby, build. Organize, baby, organize. <laughs> I've decided to stick with love. Somebody's got to have some sense in this world. And a lot of white folk have demonstrated eloquently that they don't have no sense. And why should we be that way? And the reason I'm not going to preach a doctrine of black supremacy is because I'm so sick and tired of white supremacy. Amen.